What's up, everybody? It's John from johnnyoctave.com. Happy to be back here teaching you guys some guitar. I've got another free guitar lesson for you guys. It's super easy. A beginning guitar lesson is going to be an intro guitar lesson, very beginning. So if you guys are just starting, this is going to be perfect for you. Um, I've got a set of about three or four chords that you guys are literally going to find just keep popping up again and again. Uh, when you're trying to learn guitar, when you're just starting out. And uh, if you're wanting to strum stuff, especially these chords go well together and you're going to see them all the time, like I said, not necessarily in the same order, but definitely they're going to be showing up all the time. So they're well worth your while to learn. These uh, chords happen to be arranged uh, like Knocking on Heaven's Door by Bob Dylan or Guns N' Roses, whichever version you like. Uh, but nonetheless, there's, they're uh, the same chords, and because this is a beginner guitar lesson, I am going to break these down for you, um, each chord, and show you how to play it. So, uh, let me get a little closer and show you guys what's up. Alright, you guys, let me uh, break these chords down in this chord progression for you. So, the first chord in the chord progression is a G chord. Okay. So, let me show you how to play that. So, with your second finger... You're gonna play the low E string, the sixth string, at the third fret. Okay, just like that. Make sure you're playing right on the tip of your finger, okay? The next note that you're gonna play in the chord is at the fifth string of the A string, second fret. It's that chord. Okay? The next two strings that you're gonna play are open. Okay? Should be that. So the D string and the G string, those guys are both open. Now you're going to put your third finger on the second string, third fret. It's going to be that note. So you just, I'm just moving my hand away so that you guys can see that, okay? But literally, you're just adding it to everything that I'm explaining to you along the way. So don't lift your fingers up; leave them down. Okay? And then you're going to put your pinky on the high E string, third fret. Okay? So you got that. Okay? Now you'll. You Probably, you know, if you guys are out there checking stuff out, learning learning about guitar, you're going to see that some people play this G chord with their third finger on the high E string. And that's totally acceptable. If that's how you know your G chord, that's totally cool, okay? So just go with that. But I'm going to play the, I'm going to play the double finger version there. It's like the way it sounds. It's a little fuller than the, than the other one, okay? And the benefit to this particular fingering um, I can show you straight away here, which is when I switch to a D chord, okay, I'm going to go from G to D, which is the next chord in the progression. I don't necessarily have to move my third finger. As a matter of fact, I recommend you don't, but uh, just to kind of make it a faster change or faster switch, so you get changing these, these chords quickly. So from a G chord, we're going to go to a D chord. Now how you play that note by note is uh, you play the open D string, which is the open fourth string. You're going to put your index finger on the second uh, fret, third string. It's that note. Your third finger is going to be on, well, where, right where it was in the G chord, which is the uh, second string, third fret. Okay. And then your second finger is going to be on the high E string, second fret. It's a D major chord. Okay. got D. Okay. The next chord in the progression is A minor. Play that guy. Okay. How you play that is open A string. You're going to put your second finger at the second fret D string. Like that. Your third finger is going to be on the second fret G string. First finger is going to go on the second string, first fret. Just like that. And then what you make, want to make sure of is that you're you're arching your fingers to the tip, so you got to have kind of a a um, a low wrist here, okay, so that your fingers arch up. Because what needs to happen is your first finger over here, your fretting finger over here, has to clear that high E string so that when you play that, it's open. Because your your high the first string should be played open, just like that. Okay. All right. Got a G chord. Got a D 
E chord, and we've got an A minor chord. It's starting to sound a little like something. Okay? So the other chord that you're going to need, which is not necessarily the next chord in the progression, but it is in the, in the song, is a C chord. All right? So how you're going to play that is your third finger is going to be in the fifth string, third fret. Okay? You're going to put your second finger in the D string, second fret. That guy. Your third string is going to be open, just like that, and then you're going to put your first finger on the second string, first fret, just like that. And then same thing, you got to be arching your fingers here, low wrist again, so that uh, the high E string, this guy right here, is played open, right? Just like in the A minor chord, it's the same thing in C. So let me show you the order of uh, how this is going to go. So for, for G, we have this one, two, one, two easy downstrokes, okay? G and D happen to be in the same measure. So we're going to like this one, two, three, four, okay? One, two, three, four. And then our first pass through, we're going to go to A minor, and that's going to be four downstrokes. We're gonna go back to G. One, two, two down strums on that. Three, four on D. Two down strokes. And on our second path through, which this is, we're gonna to go to a C chord instead. Okay? And we're gonna strum four just like we did on A minor. One, two, three, four. Okay? So this is how that's gonna sound with just down strokes. just beginning, perhaps this is just your first lesson, um, that could be enough for you to practice, totally, for you to get, you know, start digging into that and trying to get the shapes down and trying to transition between, uh, one, from one chord to the next, that could be plenty to work on. But for those of you that are maybe just, uh, just beyond a little bit beginner stuff, um, I'm going to give you guys a strum pattern, something that I was doing in the beginning. Um, so, so absolute beginners, you guys go practice that. For people that are ready for something new, strum pattern, maybe, you guys hang out and watch this. So what I was doing for a strum pattern was... Okay, so still an easy beginner strum pattern, just not as broken down and easy as the, just the downstroke. So what I was doing there was going down, 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 up. Okay, the strum is down down, down, up, down, 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 up. So if you apply that strum pattern to the entire chord progression, G is going to get one of those strums, one of those strum patterns, down, 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 up, okay? Then you're going to switch to D, and you're going to give that that strum pattern, down, 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 up, okay? So we've got this, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And then A minor is going to get two of those strum patterns. It's going to sound like this. Back to one strum pattern, one strum pattern. And C is going to get two. What I mean by two are two strum patterns. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Okay? guys I hope you have fun with that um, if you're just starting out on guitar and these chords are not familiar to you I want you to click the link below this is johnnyoctave.com and hop on over there I have a free ebook that has lots of cool guitar information in it it's free and it's got these chords that I just showed you um, hop on over there download that for free and you guys get practicing on this tune and I'll see you next time